everyone. So, um, <clears throat> I just wanted to make, um, this little clip, I guess. Well, it's not really going to be a little clip, but, um, oh my god, my hair's annoying me. Um, but that's actually what this video is about. So, um, I want to make a before and after video of, um, getting my hair cut. So, um, and talk about why I'm getting the hair cut and everything like that. So, I figured I might as well do that today because I won't have time to tomorrow. So, um, as you can see, my hair is pretty long. I mean, here you can see me better. Oh my god, my room's a mess. Um, but yeah, it's about down to, um, if it's, hang on, I don't know how well this is going to work. Okay, you might be able to see it that way. Um, it's about down to my shoulder blades. <laughs> I don't know how well you could see that. Um, but yeah, it's, it's pretty, gotten pretty long. It was longer, um, a lot of flipping the camera back and forth. Um, it was longer, um, back in December, but I got, uh, about two to three inches cut off of it um, when I got my side shaves um, recut or trimmed. Um, 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 um. So when I was getting um, my side shaves done, the my salonist said, um, "Have you ever thought about getting pixie cut?" And I was like, "Yeah, I've been thinking about that for like a year and a half now, and that's why I have my side shaves because I wasn't sure if I would like a pixie cut." Um, and I really like the style of having a side shave, so I figured it would be a good way for me to, you know, I could have the side shave, and then it'll give me an idea if I would like a pixie cut on me or not, and then um, if I don't, I could just have a side shave and let it grow out. And so, um, as you probably know, I really liked my side shave, so then I ended up getting this side shaved as well. So now I have two side shaves, and then I have all of my top hair and all of my back hair. Um, well, back hair, not back hair, you know what I mean, oh my god. <laughs> but anyway, um, so, when I went and got my hair cut, she's like, you know, you should really think about getting a pixie cut, I think it would look really nice on you, and I think it would too, so I'm going for it. Um, I was going to get it done yesterday, I went there and, um, to get it done by, Sydney is my hairstylist, um, Cindy. And I was going to get it done, but she actually ended up having to leave um, early, so I did not make it in time to get my hair cut yesterday. So I have an appointment with her at 11 a.m. tomorrow, which is Friday, to get my hair cut. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of going to miss my hair, but I'm really kind of not, because I live in Florida. It's like 90 degree humidity a lot. And having long hair is not the best, um, or is not the most ideal for down here, because I, I don't do anything with my hair. It's either down like this, or it's up in a ponytail. I don't flat iron it, I don't curl it, I don't do anything to it. It's just, I shower, I, I honestly, I have not even brushed my hair today. <laughs> and I got out of the shower about two hours ago, and then I had to go pick up Molly. So I have not even brushed my hair today. I'm just lazy. It just kind of straightens itself out as it dries, and it doesn't really knot up unless I have it in a ponytail. Which, my hair knots up a lot when... I, I know that kind of seems like a double standard thing right there, but it knots up a lot when... I actually brush my hair more. The more I brush my hair, the more it knots up. And especially when I'm sleeping at night, I wake up with like a bunch of knots in my hair. So, um, a pixie cut would just be much better. I would not have to, it wouldn't be high maintenance. Like, not that my hair is high maintenance because I don't do anything to it, but I have to wash my hair constantly because it gets oily. And then the more you wash the hair, or wash your hair, the more drier your hair gets because it becomes brittle and falls out. And my hair literally, I'm losing clumps of hair every day because my hair just falls out because it's dry and damaged. Which I don't understand why, because yes, I used to um, flat iron my hair and I used to dye my hair constantly, but over the past two years, I've dyed my hair once, um, and I didn't even dye my whole hair, it was just my under layers that I did. Um, and I don't flat iron my hair, I don't curl it or anything, and it's just, it's become very dry and brittle, and like, as you can see, like, my hair is like very staticky and frizzy, that's the word, frizzy, um, and it's just, it's not 
fun anymore. I don't like it, and I don't see the purpose of having long hair when it just annoys me when it's hot out anyway, and I just put it up. So, why have it? So, that's my theory. And I think it would be a good change. Um, I've never had a pixie cut. Um, the shortest I've ever had my hair is a bob, which was like to my ears. Um, which was the worst haircut ever. I hated it so bad. And I do realize that if I don't like my pixie cut, I'm going to have to have it grow out. And I will eventually end up with a bob. Um, which I will deal with when the time comes. A few more things that I wanted to clarify. Um, and talk about a little bit about why I'm getting my hair cut and everything like that. So the number one question that I'm probably going to get is, am I nervous or was I nervous getting my hair cut? Um, obviously, I don't know how I'm going to be during getting my hair cut tomorrow, um, but I am a little nervous as of right now. Um, you know, every girl that gets pixie cut has the fear of what if you look like a boy or what if you don't like it. Sorry, the camera's shaking me, but if I hold it with two hands. Um, you know, what if I don't like it? It's, it'll take too long to grow out. Um, I know... I mean, I'm already 50% there to a pixie cut because of my two side shaves. Um, so I'm pretty confident that I will like a pixie cut. Um, as for it making me look like a boy, I really don't think it will. Um, the only thing it is going to make me do is wear contacts more. Because I used to wear contacts every day and then as I got my longer hair, I kind of just got lazy. And now I wear glasses most of the time unless we are going out all day. Um, to where I want to wear sunglasses. Um, but I think with the pixie cut, I'm not going to be wanting to wear glasses all the time. Just because it puts more... With having shorter hair, there's nowhere to hide. Like, you don't have your hair to, like, hide underneath, if that makes any sense. Um, and so I just, I don't want to wear glasses. Um, because I feel like having a pixie cut is going to put more focus on your face. Um, and... I just, I don't want to be wearing glasses all the time, I think, with it. Um, also, I know somebody's going to ask if I'm, uh, if I'm going to donate my hair, and yes, I am. Um, I'm not sure where I'm going to donate it to yet. Um, I, that is all I wanted to talk about, and I will see you guys tomorrow when I get my hair cut. So, alright, bye. Hello, everyone. So, um, as you can see, I got my pixie cut. Um, it is around 3 o'clock now, and I got it. Um, at 11 this morning, um, I went in and I told, um, uh, my hairstylist, Sydney, which, um, I've gone to her before to get my hair cut, and I, I, um, I trust her with cutting my hair, I know she'll do a good job, um, hang on, I'm just going into my tablet real quick to show you guys something, um, so I went to her and I explained to her, like, you know, that I was going for a pixie cut, and I showed her multiple pictures of, um, the types of pixie cuts that I liked, um, hang on, I'm trying to set up my laptop, or my tablet, so that way you guys can see. Okay, so here are the pixie cuts, um, that I showed her that I was looking into, um, so there's like this one, and that one, that one, and then this one. I don't know why, why you can see them. Um, and she said that this one would make me look like, it's a more boyish haircut. It's not boyish on this girl, but because of my hair type, it would look more boyish on me. Um, and she said the same thing with this one. So we ended up going with my haircut to look similar to this. Um, because she said based on my hair texture and everything that this would be the most... The best one that would make me look the most girliest. Um, because... Excuse me. Obviously, um, I want a pixie cut, but I don't want to look like a boy. So we ended up with this haircut, um, and I really, really like it. Um, it's kind of, I'm still in shock a little bit that I actually went through and did it. So what she did was she, um, retied my hair into a ponytail and cut the ponytail off, so in that way I could donate that. I'm thinking of donating it to, um, children with hair loss. Um, which is a non-profit organization that donates, or that you donate your hair and then they create wigs for um, children who have like cancer and leukemia, um, well, leukemia I guess is a form of cancer, but like all kinds of things that, medical issue, illnesses that cause them to lose their hair. And the reason I'm thinking of donating it to that one instead of Locks of Love is because they don't charge the families for the ch children to get their um, wigs. 
so I, I like that better. Um, so yeah, this is what my hair looks like. Um, I'll insert pictures of it, and um, yeah, I really like it. I did get some stuff at the salon. Sorry, I'm in my living room. And don't mind my shirt, by the way. I changed. Um, I was wearing a white shirt, and then um, when we got home from the salon, I, I've been helping my dad work on my car, and so um, I didn't want to wear a white shirt, so I just threw on this one that's like multicolored because of laundry reasons. Um, hang on, I'll show you. Oh my god. Come on out. Molly. Sorry, Molly's like... Um, but here is my hair. <laughs> it's in a bag. Um, hair cuttery is where I get my um, haircut. So, yeah. Um, so, sorry for the camera flipping back and forth, but yeah, I got that. And then, um, I got, I use, it's a 10, um, shampoo. I used the light blue one that's for, like, um, volumizing. But they were out of that one this time, so, um, Sydney said to get this one, or Cindy said to get this one, which is, um, also, it's a 10. Oh my god, where the heck am I pointing this camera? Um, it's, it's a 10, but it's, uh, the silk... Express Miracle Silk Shampoo. I don't know why I couldn't say that. Um, and the conditioner. And that was um, $30. It was like in a little combo thingy. I don't know if you can see it. I'm horrible at doing this. And then, she did you show me how to style this particular look. Um, we did decide to do my haircut to where it's very versatile. Um, I could have my bangs to the side or I can have them straight down and I could have my sides pointed into points um, which one point is longer than the other. I took notice of that to when I get got home but um, she said I could just come in and she'll trim that up really fast which honestly I could do it myself if I wanted to but uh, I'll just go back to her and have her do it. Um, but yeah so what, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so she showed me how to do this for, like, more volume on top, because that's what that the girl in the picture had. Um, but because I have very thin, flat hair, I have to use products and everything to get my hair like this. Um, but we made it that, um, she used shears and also, um, a razor to get, to texturize my hair, so in that way... Not only can I, like, have it, like, very voluminous like this by using, like, the blow dryer and everything, but I could also just air dry it and it'll look cute as well because it's textured. So I like that, but I ended up getting this, which is the, um, Paul Mitchell Flexible Style Fast Drying Sculpting Spray. So I got that as well, so. Yeah, so this is my haircut. I will insert pictures. Hey everyone, so I just wanted to add this last clip, um, to... My hair makeover video. Um, I've had my hair cut for a week now, um, and I really, I'm still loving it. Um, I figured I would put this in so you could better see my hair because the clip that I did when I was sitting on my living room couch um, wasn't a very good clip. I took notice. It's like dark, um, and I was in a t-shirt, so it didn't really look like I was put together. Um, but yeah, so this is my hair cut, um, and you can see the back, hopefully. Think. Um, but yeah, so um, I like it. Um, I'm really in love with it. I've been working on getting it like she had it, um, cause she made it like really like voluminous in the back and like up top. Um, so I've been working on doing that, and I really like it. Um, I would definitely recommend if you think about getting a pixie cut to go ahead and get one. Um, because I'm I really love mine, and I think. If you're thinking about getting a pixie cut, I think you should try it and take the plunge and cut your hair off because it, it'll it grow back if you don't like it, it's just hair. And at least you can say you tried it at least once in your life. So, um, yeah, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And, alright, talk to you later. Bye.